I want to say to all of you here, the young entrepreneurs who come from around the world, the work that you're doing today and these companies that you're trying to make work, these innovations that you're creating, the seeds that you're planting today, is going to dictate of how young people who are not even born yet will have to live 50 years, 100 years from now. I can't help to say that because I got chills looking at these walls while we're sitting here. I was just thinking about before even the civil rights movement, how African Americans, our own people, were taken away from us in Africa. Couldn't even imagine driving next to this White House. Then all of the struggles that they went through, from Alabama to the North, from Atlanta to Chicago, from Chicago down to Washington, D.C. You had millions of African Americans born in this country who never had the right to just sit in one place to eat in a restaurant, which led all the way to the civil rights movement for Dr. King to give this I Have a Dream speech in this particular place in Washington, D.C. And millions died through that struggle. We've lost a lot of people who allowed us, people like me, who come from Kaolak, Senegal, to be able to bring you here to see sisters holding these kind of positions that look like us. People like you made that happen. People who had the courage to dream. People who had the courage to push the limits. To not take the status quo. Who understood that how much is given, much is required. With great power comes with great responsibility. And they knew that they had to create a path for generations to come, when Dr. King was talking about in the steps on the Lincoln Memorial, that he has a dream, that dream is us. We have witnessed here the first African-American president. Today we are in the Biden administration seeing our sisters, our people, and, and how they're holding positions here to make history. And, and I'm reminding us all of that to say that we too have a role to play in history. And for you to push extra limits to make sure that your dreams become reality. Because if you're able to innovate and create your companies, like you're changing the course of history for addicts, somebody else is doing it in the other areas. Everybody else working on their businesses. Imagine together a few years from now, the story we will tell to our children, that walls like this are not made only for few, but they are made for everyone. And these walls, like the White House, is not only for the US. It's for my home country, Senegal. It's for Mali, it's for Burkina Faso, for Algeria, it's for Morocco. It's our responsibility today as leaders to create a space for young people to have access to opportunities everywhere that Musa is doing rightfully in France. So I just want to leave you with that to know that we're not here just to take photos, but we are here to plant a seed and I hope that when you go home, that if you're working hard, you will work extra hard to make sure that we tear those walls of division, where we build the walls of opportunities and, and access to everyone, no matter of your color, your background, or your gender, or your religion. It depends on us to create the wall that we want to see. So I thank the White House, I thank the administration, I thank Musa and my good friend, Ken, Andre, and sister, all of you, for being here. God bless you. Let's change the world. Let's change the world, guys.